Right, so we started this whole six watts per kilo journey like nine months ago. How's it going? Well, badly. We're going to go through what's happened this year. I haven't made any videos for years because I've been pretty busy. But anyway, what we're going to go through is like how racing's been, which is not great. How the general year's been, not great. And how six watts per kilo for 20 is going, again, not great. But there are some learnings to take from this. And actually, if you look solely on power data, one of my best years ever. So what we're going to do first of all is show you probably my best best 10 minute effort, probably best performance ever this year, uh, fresh effort. But what we can see here is it's my local climb, Barrington Coombe, uh, 9 minutes 20 at 360 watts. So I was probably 61, yeah, I was 61 kilos at this time. It's about 5.9 watts per kilo for 9 minutes 20 if someone said, could you do it for 10 minutes? Obviously you can, like 40 seconds is irrelevant. That's just like the climb isn't 10 minutes long. So 360 watts, my best ever 10 minute power if it's 10 minutes, which I am going to say for this video, it basically is. So you can see 26K an hour, 6%, like it's not bad. It's not a quick road, but I came like 15th overall in the segment. So I'm not like too upset. You can see like first six minutes, 360, flat bit. And then the last part, passion meter, 380 watts. Like when you actually look at this, you think I probably could have, got more out like 380 watts last two and a half minutes like yeah there's this bit where it's flat um but you know what i mean anyway point is very good numbers this is my best ever and our 61 kilos 5.9 so that is good uh for sure best ever 10 minute power but if we're thinking about 20 minute power i'm i'm not doing 354 watts which was my goal at 59 kilos like that's just not happening so uh 20 minutes, I just haven't had a good 20 minutes. I did one and I was just like ill and the numbers were useless, like 320 or something terrible. So my best 20 minutes here is like, yeah, I think 320, which is not great. I haven't really tested. There's been a lot of issues which we'll get into. But based on this, let's say like 360, um, take off maybe 10%, 335 for 20 minutes. I reckon I'm not. I reckon I'm like 340, 345 would be my estimate on that day if I did a 20 minute test. I was pretty happy with this effort uh because like i went quick which was the main thing uh and also uh yeah it's like good good 10 minute power for me and we're gonna look through some of my peak performances so what you'll see is 2019 i was on a stages and this was before i crashed and had like what well, i was in intensive care for like two and a half weeks or something so obviously you know broke my leg etc just imagine froon dog i did that so not great but except five seconds and like 20 and like longer power like on three key durations best ever this year so you'll see we'll go over to one minute oh this is going to take so long now 580 watts for one minute uh which isn't great i definitely can do more uh but anyway still best ever can't complain you know you can always say you can do more whatever that's the best i've ever done 580 watts so good i can definitely crack 600 like this was just useless five minutes again you can see the two efforts from 2019 this was 397 watts if we actually look at this though this was early on in the year as well i tried to crack out 420 recently uh this was like the week after i did my barrington like 360 but you can see like it's a really really bad climb to do it on box hill because there's a hairpin and like if there was a car parked on the corner so i couldn't really pedal and you see it's like mega um mega surgery also it's a pretty quick climb it's like 25k an hour so it's not great for putting power out because you kind of see it a bit more like anyway can't complain though like best power since pre-crash so that's always the thing oh no sorry i've lost it um so that's always kind of like my my biggest thing is always like you know if it's your best power you've done for the time then you must be going well and you can always argue that you haven't tested perfectly but that is kind of irrelevant because ultimately like it is actually like good news so you can see like um if we go all time for 10 minutes again you can see like the best ever was 355 which was on a 20 minute test um here it's like you can see all these efforts like you can look 2018 2019 like this is all my stages power meter my best ever effort before like post crash whatever was 348 that was in a 20 minute test but still like 360 like that is really good so i'm i'm happy with that so you kind of look like you're like oh charlie you hit your best ever one minute five minute and ten minute like post crash so that's really good um like my hour power i just haven't really done an hour effort i think my best ever hour was like last year so like 300 watts that was in a race just like in a break 300 watts for an hour basically so that's not not too bad uh so yeah like overall in that sense it's going well but how's six watts per kilo going badly because again like the weight is just impossible i like i actually just can't do 59 kilos without severely restricting calories which then impacts my life because i get ill 
and then when I'm ill, I can't train, and when I can't train, uh, I get worse. So that's kind of the story of this year. If we go back to like, um, like really far away, like April, May, this was a disaster. Like uh, this race here was really hard, Belgrade Banja Luka, like good four day block, whatever. But I was just ill for so long. Uh, and so, like, I just never really got around. These were some really hard races in Norway. Again, like, just ill, so that wasn't great either. You can see here, like, super, super ill, so not great. Going into, like, um, going into Albania, like, it was really bad. Again, if we, if we, the other reason why this year probably wasn't as bad as I actually, um, expected is that I got my best ever UCI result as well. Well, I actually had one UCI, but it was a team time trial, but individual results sixth in tour of albania so again like if you actually look at it objectively you're like you've hit best power one minute five minute ten minute and best ever uci results so it should be good but i think like i know it wasn't great and like my preparation was has been really bad for races because i've just been ill and i didn't really listen to my body i like flew here and got really ill like there were some really good efforts and then suddenly like you know you're ill and, and that's kind of the tail of the season really i just haven't been able to get into consistent training um really and then yeah i think that's just kind of cascaded into a lot of races martinique i was really bad like last day i made the winning break and then my duo two exploded but apart from that i was literally anonymous and did nothing every day so again like it's not great okay yeah like 1300 tss for a week is like decent but i was like i don't know it just wasn't wasn't great um again like you can see i had massive time off afterwards and then actually this was the time i started to feel good um i did lots of heat prep i did um i was doing like more hours like this was like a 25 hour week which is always good uh and then i did guyana and again that was probably like the best race that i was doing um so you can see like the burrington effort i did uh, was one of these rides i think that one there so again like that was good um and then obviously i crashed out so that wasn't great either but anyway conclusion is that i think six watts per kilo for 20 minutes is never gonna happen for me uh, I just think the genes aren't good enough, but you know, I think I could definitely, I can definitely do more power. I think 350 for 20 is definitely on the cards. Like I think that is 100% possible um, because again, this climb is like flat and it's definitely easy to put out power when it's like not 26k an hour and it's like 8% and you can get out of the saddle a bit more easily. But anyway, I think overall the year is not fully disastrous. I've got one race left, which is Taurus Serbia. It's pan flat every day. So that's just kind of like just there for the vibes but i do think overall can't be too disappointed like you just gotta accept some years aren't gonna be as good as other years but in general like hitting good power numbers is good and getting yeah but getting my best uci result is also good so anyway conclusion of the series six isn't happening for 20 but you know we'll we'll see next year maybe maybe we'll hit bigger numbers but i i can't imagine um my kind of main goal next year is trying to crack out 1200 watts i've done 11 before never done 12 which when you're 60 kilos it's quite a lot but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one